Good afternoon and welcome to Vermont House Judiciary Committee. Uh, this afternoon, we are considering an amendment from the Committee on Appropriations on H183, which is an act relating to sexual violence. And here from the um, Appropriations Committee is Representative Trevor Squirrel. So um, welcome so much. I think um, this, is, uh, this is the first time that you've visited with us. So appreciate you looking at this bill and uh, and coming to visit with us. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. And for the record, uh, Representative Squirrel, uh, representing the House Appropriations Committee. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I want to thank you for bringing uh, H183 to our committee. Uh, it's certainly a very important issue. Uh, we were uh, joined by Pledge Council and Representative Colburn in our committee. Did a great job uh, going through the bill. And of course, being in appropriations, the section we're concerned about is section seven, which is the appropriations section. And, and we had a discussion and uh, there were certain elements of that section that we wanted to change, amend. And so if it's okay with you, I'll just go through those changes. Uh, this is my first year on appropriations, but it's my understanding that when we have an appropriation for a committee that, appropriations like to break out the per diem costs and other costs. So that was the first change that we made. We, we didn't change the dollar amounts. We just broke it out from the 13,000 to the 11,990 11, and the per diem costs of 1,010. So that first section from your bill essentially became two pieces, two subsections, okay? The, the other changes, the other issues that we've had is that your original bill was sole sourcing the, the appropriation to a non-state entity in the case of the Vermont Network. Uh, we think the Vermont Network does wonderful work. There's, there's no question about that, but it's not a practice that we like to do. So uh, we had a conversation with, with Ledge Council and with Representative Colburn after the presentation to sort of talk about, well, we, we think one of the solutions is to appropriate this money to the Center for Crime Victim Services, which does have a very strong relationship with people that do this work and, and let them do the granting to staff the uh, Intercollegiate Sexual Violence Prevention Council and take care of you know, expenses and all the other things to do to do that work. The, uh, and, and following on those changes that required us to change other sections in your original section B, you appropriate the $40,000 for the Vermont Forensic Nursing Program. So we made a change there and we're, we're appropriating that money again to the Center for Crime Victim Services to provide a grant for this purpose, okay? The other couple things that we, we asked for was to sort of maybe put a little bit more meat around what the purpose of the the uh, Vermont Forensic Nursing Program is and sort of uh, specify that. And also we felt there should be some reporting requirements there. And, and we have suggested, or Ledge Council has suggested, and by the way, Michelle was great working with us on that because our bandwidth is so limited on doing this work right now. Uh, there was a call for report on before January 15th, 2022. And again, we, we swapped out Vermont Network for the Center for Crime Victim Services, but obviously they can do a designee or have somebody else make that report. That's, that's not an issue for us. And then a follow-up report on November 1, 2022, regarding how the program has worked. So in, in a nutshell, I think that's, that's the nature of the amendment. Yeah, oh, by the way, the vote was 11 0, 0. Great, well, thank you. Thank you very much. And, and actually, um, the um, I never heard the sole sourcing. I never heard that <laughs> that um, that term, but it does make sense. And in, and um, in the past, we have seen the Center for Crime Victim Services be a, a pass through. So so this seems consistent. And um, yes. and I'll turn to um, to Representative Coburn in um, in a minute. But I know that she has been in touch with the um, with the network. Um, and we I did also hear from the network who who does support who does support this change. So okay, great. I, yeah, so I, I certainly thank you because this is, this is really an, an important work and appreciate the, the committee taking it at, up, um, at a late, <laughs> at a late <laughs> hour and, um, and getting back to us. So um, Selena, do you wanna add anything? Um, 
Uh, not a lot to add. Great, um, great uh, presentation by Representative Squirrel. And um, we had at the, a really good conversation with Appropriations Committee and was really grateful to them for their work and their questions, which I think just do make things even clearer about the intent of the appropriation and how it will be used. Um, I did work with Sarah Robinson at the network, um, along with Michelle and helping to kind of craft some language for appropriations to use as a starting point. And so in addition to the network supporting this language uh, it has been run by Crime Victim Services Center and they're supportive as well and um, eager and happy to essentially play this role of um, kind of contracting out with the network. We did learn that they, they um, usually take a kind of an administrative overhead and they they we originally had tried to craft some language around that but um they anyway the the network and the crime victim services center have kind of worked out behind the scenes how this will work and so there won't be the usual my understanding is there won't be like the usual administrative overhead that they might otherwise charge here that the, the amendment itself doesn't address that but that was good to hear. And um, yeah, I'm just very grateful to the appropriations committee for their work and their good questions and their support. Yeah. Great, great. Well, thank you. And, and thank you, Selena, for, for taking the lead on this. Any um, committee members, any questions for Representative Swirl? Not seeing any. Um, well, thank you. So I would entertain a um, motion to treat this as a favorable amendment and we can just do a show of hands. Uh, so if I could have a motion. A so second. moved. Great. I'll second. Okay, wonderful. All those in favor of uh, treating draft 2.1 um, as a favorable amendment, please show by a raise of hands. Okay, all those opposed? <laughs> Lower the hands. <laughs> okay, great, great, well, wonderful. And uh, so Selena, you'll, um, so it's unanimous, I I'm just checking because I came in just a minute late to make sure everybody's here. Is anybody? Yeah, I think Kate, is Kate still here? She was here a minute ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. Wonderful. Yep. Okay. So we're eleven zero zero. Okay. Great. Okay. Great. And so you'll you'll report this vote in addition to the bill. Great. Absolutely. Well, Trevor, thank you so much. Well, thank you, and uh, have a good evening. Yeah. You too. Thanks. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Okay. So, committee, I I didn't think it would be fair to do anything else today. <laughs> so, um, it's a long day, and I'm sure some of us still have meetings. So before we go off offline, anything for the record before we adjourn? Nope. Okay, great.